All right, guys. So a couple of days ago, OG YouTuber Jenna Marbles uploaded a video where she announced that she was quitting. Maybe just for a while and maybe forever. Her reasoning for this was that she was doing YouTube to have fun, but she was no longer having fun doing it because some people were coming after her trying to get her cancelled because of some videos she made back in 2011 or something like that. It's a story we've heard a thousand times by now. She did some racist jokes and now people want to cancel her. And look, I'm not here to defend those jokes she made. I'm not here to defend anyone doing blackface. I just think it's incredibly disheartening and just sad to see someone like Jenna Marbles having to quit in this way because people have been bullying her because of some stupid jokes. I'm not a big Jenna fan. I've never been subscribed to her. But when I have come across some of her videos, she seemed like a really nice and fun person. I really believe her when she says that she never wanted to hurt anyone or make anyone feel bad. Of course it was wrong to make those kinds of jokes, but she knows that now. PewDiePie made a fantastic post regarding this whole situation where he brought up the idea that the whole point of pointing out people's problematic pasts should be to, to celebrate how they get smarter and grow as human beings, not to shame them for who they used to be. And obviously Felix isn't the best person to speak out about this, given his several past problematic situations, but the point stands. When watching Jenna's video, I started thinking about something. She talked about some videos she'd privated, not because she'd been asked to do so, but because she felt embarrassed to see them herself. They made her feel uncomfortable. Some of these were comedy videos about what women do and what men do. That sort of video obviously leans heavily on gender stereotypes, but these past couple of years, many of us have been made much more aware of the many different ways gender can be perceived and experienced. Now, I'm a straight white dude, so given my privilege in life, very little offends me, but when I thought about it, I, I did see the point that making jokes about what, for instance, men do might be drawing on some stereotypes that could make some people who identify as men feel uncomfortable. Like saying all men always go around scratching their balls might make some transgender men feel uncomfortable. Saying that all guys always talk about football might make some boys who'd rather be like ballet dancers or something like that feel like they're not proper men. Heck, I never talk about football. I couldn't give two shits about it. So something like that might even make someone like me feel a little bit weird. And I think when you look at it like this, you couldn't find a single person in the world who hasn't at some point said something that could feel offensive to someone else or might make someone else uncomfortable. And my point is not that we should never make any jokes that point fingers at stereotypes and have the potential to make other people feel bad. My point is that we shouldn't demonize people who make these kinds of jokes or have made them in the past because we've probably all been guilty of doing it at some point in our lives. I think Hank Green put it very nicely when he wrote on Twitter, I really strongly believe that we should be judged not by how we acted when we were ignorant, but how we responded when we were informed. We should definitely point out to people when they say something stupid or hurtful, but not just to make them suffer, but to help them learn. If they keep being dicks, we keep trying to educate. People should not be judged by their past mistakes, but their willingness to learn from them. All right, that's all. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care and so long.